a reading from St. Mark's Gospel. There were also women looking on from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James the younger, and of Joseph, and Salome. And these used to follow him and provided for him when he was in Galilee. And there were many other women who had come up with him to Jerusalem. When evening had come, and since it was the day of preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was also himself waiting expectantly for the kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate wondered if he were already dead, and summoning the centurion, he asked him whether he had been dead for some time. When he learned from the centurion that he was dead, he granted the body to Joseph. Then Joseph bought a linen cloth, and taking down the body, wrapped it in the linen cloth, and laid it in a tomb that had been hewn out of the rock. He then rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph saw where the body was laid. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, on this, uh, on this holiday weekend, we have the reading of the, uh, of the placing of Jesus's body in the tomb. And in some ways, we are always reminded that uh, no matter what time of year it is, we are um, often given times of waiting, times of expectation. And, uh, and indeed, we seem to be in, you know, our whole culture is in a season of waiting to see what will happen. Uh, and in this season of waiting, there I, th I think of, uh, you know, uh, and raise up Joseph of Arimathea's, um, in a sense, the, the virtue that he has of thinking of what can be done, right? What, you know, what action it says he, he boldly went to Pilate. And so while everything else is kind of shut down, he is acting. He is ministering to the real needs uh, that uh, are presented to him in simply bearing the body of Jesus and doing that which is decent, that which is, um, in a sense, a last act of love. And, uh, you know, in the action of Joseph of Arimathea made the, the bearing of um, the bearing of the poor uh, one of the seven corporal works of mercy is to bury the dead. And so in seasons of waiting, right, we are all called to keep our eyes open and to be bold for that which can be done even as we wait. Even as we wait for God to act decisively, we can still be ministering to those who are in need uh, in our midst and those who, you know, there are still things to be doing even as we wait. Uh, one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite uh, things that uh, a friend of mine said, uh, Mark DeVries, he's a, he was kind of the dean of youth pastors in, in uh, many circles. And he said that uh, the happiest people are those who know what to do while they're waiting. And uh, he was talking about, you know, going to um, theme parks where you're, there are all the lines for all the rides. And either you're going to be, you know, if you go to a theme park, you're going to be waiting. And, you know, do you spend the line, the time in line kind of bored and um, kind of grumpy until you can get to the ride? Or do you have fun while you're there? And he said, you know, those, the people who enjoy the theme parks most are the people who have fun while they're waiting in line, which is most of what you're doing in the theme park. And so in the same way, we can be uh, active and be uh, building community with each other as we're doing now even as we wait um, for, in a sense, life to unfold and for things to show us the way. Amen.